Okay, got a quick demonstration of how to use the Johnson bar to operate the gear. This is a 1965 Oni 20 Charlie 20C, also known as the Mark 21. And I uh, cruising along here at altitude, got her slowed down to about 75 knots indicated, just so I don't have to fight the airflow. And uh, gonna go ahead and show you. So right now the gear is up and locked. And uh, down here is where it's locked in physically. Also have a light that says gear unsafe up on the panel. And the first thing to do is to grab this handle and, and slide the collar forward. And that makes it uh, physically come out of the little locking mechanism here. And then in one motion, put it all the way up into the locking mechanism that's up here. So here's how it looks. I'll put the gear down. And push up. Takes a little bit of strength. Get it in there just right. Not my smoothest demonstration, but uh, that's uh, pretty normal, especially when you're getting used to it. I don't mind telling you, this is my second day in this airplane. Still getting used to the technique. So uh, it went in, locked up, and there's a little uh, pin here that came out. But get you a different angle, and I'll uh, show you that again in a minute. Uh, but first, to, uh, oh, and I do have a green light on the panel telling me that the gear is safe. Uh, so gear's down now. I uh, always want to pull on that, make sure it's locked in there. Uh, to reverse the process, going to push with my thumb, pull down, and then one smooth motion all the way to the floor. Obviously, got to make sure everything's out of the way. You don't have any wires. Uh, had a little bit of a challenge on one of my uh, yesterday, actually my first solo after I uh, did my checkout, and the instructor wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I had the seatbelt, his seatbelt, laying down here on the floor and uh, kind of got in the way. It wasn't too big of a deal on takeoff. I just had to kind of hold my hand there for a little bit, fly the airplane, get some safe altitude, and then uh, just pull the seatbelt out of the way so I could get it locked in there. So a uh, little, little lesson learned there. Just always look down here right before you take off. Make sure everything's out of the way. So gear's down right now. I'm uh, going to go ahead and put it up. Unlock it. Down. One smooth motion. And in. So it goes down and back and locked, and uh, that's how you operate the Johnson bar. I've got another uh, view for you here. Uh, now you can see we've got the uh, unsafe light here. That's uh, what it looks like when the gear is up. And uh, these are the type of bulb you can push to check the light bulb. And uh, something kind of interesting, I'll just show you real quick. So here's where the uh, gear handle, the Johnson bar, locks in when the uh, when the gear is down, and uh, there's a little and, uh, button in there. You can see I can push it, and it goes to a green light up here. So that's all it is, is when the Johnson bar physically comes in here, that's how you get a gear safe indication. That there's nothing actually out on the gear, that, uh, no squat switch or anything like that. Okay, so here's what it looks like uh, flying along. The wheels are up, and I got it slowed down, make this easy. Unlock it, bring it up, one smooth motion, in, and up. <laughs> and you see how once I go up, this little uh, locking mechanism comes out here. Give it a good pull. We got the green light up here. And it does take a little bit of strength doing that. Uh, if there was someone that uh, had, a, had trouble with their, you know, base, I, I heard of a guy recently, had shoulder surgery, had to sell his Mooney. Or, uh, you know, find, find one that has the electric system. So anyway, that's what it looks like. Give it a good pull, and we're good. Go the other way. Got the thumb, presses here. Good, put the wheels down. Push to unlock, down, and then one smooth motion. All the way down, and locked in the back. And give it a good pull. That's what it looks like.